doesn't was it wasn't in balance anymore. What what's the misery? Give me an example of the misery. People in, people are, who are hungry, who are in misery, hungry, in misery. War, war, unhappy. Unhappy. Just very briefly, you've given me four examples, right? Islam has a solution for all of those things. Yeah, but no. Let me let me elaborate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know you're a very trusting person. <laughs> I've said it. You believe me, but let me let me prove it to you. Um, Islam is the only has the only financial system mm -hmm. that eradicates poverty. Ah, yeah. We yeah, have because you, your families look, you look after your elderly and so. That that is one element of it. Yeah, um, we have Islam. Yeah. In Islam, we have five pillars, right? And the third pillar is zakat. Zakat is basically a tax for the rich to pay for the poor, to the poor. Mm -hmm. right? Does it exist in your? Yeah, 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 yeah. You give 2.5 percent of your annual wealth, money you have spent in one calendar year, to the poor. We eradicate poverty. There's no more poor people. You're talking about sadness and all these elements. It's just the fact of the matter is, it's a lack of submission, a lack of following the commandments of God. Yeah, you're seeing all these bad things happen. I can get rid of all of the bad things that you've mentioned. It's going to come at one cost. Are you ready to pay the price? It's free will. God has given you free will and people choose to disobey God. God's given you free will and they choose to follow their desires without filters. Islam has permitted some things and forbidden other things. Allah has forbid, um, permitted some things and told you how to do it and said don't do these things is bad for you but we choose not to follow it now you've had a experience where it was nice for you to believe in God because your dad's in heaven yeah, yeah and uh, yeah that's why I believe that was the only way that I was gonna see him again yeah if I believed <laughs> and so I, I believe then I had the question growing up in which, in, which, uh, in which form he would be and he would meet me. He knew me when I was a little girl when he died, so he didn't know me not like I am now. Mm. So I think we are all energy and we will... You see, you see in the movies of the black holes with all the colors and the shapes, I believe in something like that. It's mm. really beautiful. Two points. Islamic scholars have actually discussed like the age of men and women in paradise. Does it make sense? Um, what happened to babies when they die and the newborns? Does it make sense? So Islam has an answer for these things. Um, and it talks about um, the age of men and the age of women. So it's not, it's not a mystery for us, per se. But you know, you're talking about um, the lights and the beauty. Yeah? And, the Wh and the wormhole. And the wormhole. Yeah, and the black hole and the purple hole yeah. and all these lovely colors, right? It's really so the, the universe is so big. Yeah. So my question is, where does that belief come from? It's your subjective belief. Right now, because you're in this mood, it's nice weather, <laughs> you just had some nicotine, it makes sense. I'm smiling, you're smiling, life is good. Yeah. yeah. In general, then the point I'm trying to make with yourself is like, look, this is subject to like the environment. Right now, imagine you grew up in a society or a world where the concept of color was different. Does that make sense? Um, imagine you didn't have eyes to see the colors. Then would you still think of this place in the hereafter with different colors? Because you wouldn't have a concept of color. So I'm yeah. trying to say, but, there were colors. <laughs> but you wouldn't be able to appreciate it. Does make sense? So I'm saying that, look, and you touched upon it. You said the universe is so vast, so big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm saying, where did the universe come from? Yeah. Let me ask you a question the Quran asks. Mm -hmm. yeah? This perfect, unchanged, objectively true book. Yeah? Everything I'm saying, I can objectively prove that hasn't been changed. Um, there's no mistakes in it, there's no errors in it. It says it's from God and God will protect it. Yeah? God even challenges you to find a mistake. 
but we'll leave that to chapter two. Let's, <laughs> let's stick to chapter one. Yeah. Did the universe create itself? That's what, what, yeah. That's, I would say yes, but then like what I told you earlier, it's too beautiful. All the feelings, and it seems that that's something that, because there are animals, but, uh, a jellyfish, it has, it has none, uh, no, bones. no brain, nothing, no. nothing, it just floats. No. So, why does that? Jellyfish don't have a feeling, they're happy that it's boring. You make a deep, profound point, madam. <laughs> yeah. What's your name, by the way? Petka. Hmm? Petka. Petka. Am I saying it? Right? Petka. Yeah, it's the female of Peter. Yeah. Petka. 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 <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. Um, my name is Ridwan. Petka. Ridwan. One. Red one. Red one. Yeah. Um, so now, Petka, <laughs> um, leaving the jellyfish to one side. Because <laughs> my knowledge on jellyfish is very limited. Right? I went with my son to uh, Sea Life uh, London today. Oh, okay. Describe. So my son knows That's what you're thinking about now, about yeah? Fish and jellyfish. Is your son around by any chance? No, he's waiting upstairs. Oh. Uh, Oh, you've, you've come to have a cigarette? Yeah. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, that's good. You should never smoke indoors, and no. It's good that you're not smoking in front of your... I'm, I, I'm afraid I don't have much more time. What, what language do you speak, by the way? Netherlands. Pardon? Netherlands. Dutch. Dutch, okay. I don't have any Dutch Qur'ans. Can I interest you in a free translation of the Qur'an? But, no, I'm not going to take it because I'm not going to read it. I'm not a reader. Can I interest you in a red book? <laughs> Which is slightly thinner. And what's in it? You have to read it to find out. Okay, I will. We're going we're gonna to speak, sir. Oh. I, I, I've already had that conversation. I'm not uh, no, no, secrets away. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. it's, a bit, it's a bit obvious as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no. I will read this. It's not too much. Yeah. I would say, I don't even know. What, what, let, let me see the difference between these two. I would say maybe... Um, yeah, maybe, yeah. I think, yeah, this will be good yeah. for you. This, this is an interesting one as well because it goes through the concept because um, I think what makes Islam quite unique is like look, we believe in one God um, very quickly the universe didn't create itself because didn't didn't because then um, it means that it didn't exist mm -hmm. it came into existence to create itself it doesn't make sense so the Islamic philosophy is that look Allah is outside of the universe. Allah is all powerful, all knowing, all wise. Because we were talking about colors and beauty. Um, to create beauty would dictate intelligence, necessitate intelligence. In a sense, to have a concept of these things. And I'm saying that Allah is beyond my examples. Allah is the all wise, all knowing. And Allah created the universe for a reason, me and you. Told us what that reason is through prophets, messengers who articulated the message and then preserved it through a perfect book, which is the Quran. And yeah, so it, there's too much design for there not to be a design. This thing happened by accident. You're not gonna, nothing's being created. You can't give me an example of something that's been created without purpose. And all the scientists and- Jellyfish. Huh? <laughs> jellyfish. But you see that the jellyfish serves a purpose and in the ecosystem. Yeah. yeah? yeah okay. um, I can't really tell you that from a, academic perspective because I don't know enough about it but there was um, I've forgotten the animal I think it was like foxes or something they took it out of the jungle not foxes a certain type of predator yeah and then it resulted in like bunnies like overly producing and then they had a pandemic of like so many bunny rabbits and just which is a, just because they took out this little predator from the forest um, it resulted in so and so so I've, yeah, I'm not doing this story justice, yeah, because I'm just thinking off the top of my head. But I'm just saying that 
everything there's a there's a reason for it yeah. yeah and that's one of the divine wisdom and that's one of the perfections of Allah that Allah created everything for a reason and there's a connection does that make sense like the world the shape of the world which the Quran mentions when people didn't know it was round Allah is saying it's geospherical hence you have the different seasons the world is perfectly distant from the sun to be able to sustain life and all these other elements which makes me believe that look that this book can't be anyone from anyone apart from God past the non mistakes so I'm gonna thank you for your time and yeah wish you all the best and yeah are you here for long or are you just uh, visit it until Monday yeah enjoy your trip madam you take care thank, thank you. you so much it was really nice talking to you. my pleasure thank you Alhamdulillah Assalamu alaikum